Hi, I'm Graham Steele, CEO and co-founder of CryptoSense. And today I'm going to talk about the difference between being compliant with the PKCS11 standard and being vulnerable. So PKCS11 is the standard that's used to define interfaces for cryptographic hardware, particularly HSM, so hardware security modules, and other devices like smart cards and embedded cryptographic services. So our fuzzing tool is able to detect multiple kinds of problems in a PKCS11 implementation. One is that sometimes it can just crash the HSM, or it can show a memory management bug, or it can show inconsistent behavior. But assuming we don't find any of those kind of problems, we get a trace of calls and responses from the PKCS11 implementation. We can then show you two kinds of things which are wrong. So the first kind is non-compliances. PKCS11 is a long and open standard, and it doesn't have formalized compliance tests. However, if you read the standard, there are particular sentences that describe ways that the interface should and must behave. So we've extracted those definitions and created more than 100 compliance rules. And we run all the calls and responses from the HSM through those rules and give you a full output about your compliance to the standard. The other strange thing about the PKCS11 standard is even if you're completely compliant with the standard, your HSM can still be terribly vulnerable to a number of attacks. So in some of our other videos, we discussed the history of PKCS11 attacks. A lot of those work even on completely compliant implementations. So we have a second kind of analysis, which is purely about vulnerabilities. We look at the calls and responses from your HSM and work out, is there a way that we can chain together completely legal compliant calls to that HSM in such a way that we can extract the value of a protected key? So that's the vulnerability analysis. Those rules come from academic research, they come from our own research at CryptoSense, they come from previous CVEs, and they come from issues that we pull out of the standard. So we have the only tool that gives you both analysis of compliance and an analysis for vulnerability. If you want to give it a try, get in touch. 